It's known as thoroughbred country for a reason, so get your best fit ready so that you can head out to the 80th running of the Aiken Trials at the Aiken Training Track. That's happening this Saturday. We have Dustin Turner in to tell us more about this exciting event. Thanks so much for coming on the show. Hey, yes, Dustin. thank you for having me. Before we get to the event this weekend, there's a lot happening. Um, tell us, why do you think the city of Aiken is the best place for equestrian Events. Oh man, I mean, the, the weather, I mean, this time of year, it's been a little cool, but I, I think it's going to be a great day for it. But the weather generally this time of year, and, and that's what Aiken is known for, right? I mean, a, a winter colony uh, with equestrian history, it is, you know, all the horse community is on dirt roads, and they always say you've made it in Aiken if you live on a dirt road. So, and, yeah. and, you know, there's a reason they call it thoroughbred country in Aiken. Well, that's uh, right. It's the 80th running of the Aiken Trials this Saturday. What can people expect? Yeah, so it's a tradition, right? 80 years. They can expect, they can expect kids on horses for the uh, pony races, right? And uh, so the Aiken Trials is really about the local trainers who are there every day, no matter what the weather, running these horses. These are local horses with local riders, and it's just showing off what's going on. There'll be the hat contest. There'll be horse races, obviously. There'll be uh, tailgating and vendors and food, and uh, it's just a good family-friendly event. And tell us, what does it take to compete in something such as the Aiken Trials? I can imagine a lot of people are probably traveling to, to be a part of this? The, uh, well, the Aiken Trials is, is uh, the local horses. This is, there are some people coming in and some, the mm -hmm. steeplechase the week after brings in people from all over the country. Right. And those are the ones that, where they really show off and really are competing. There is certainly competition here at the Trials and it, this is really the, uh, the local horses showing off what they have, the local trainers showing off what they do every day. And as you say, it's not just, uh, not just the races, it's also the vendors, but everybody gets to enjoy. They get yeah. to dress up. There is a particular uh, hat contest judging contest that somebody might be uh, working yes. on. And yeah. I know, I know. I'm excited for yeah. this. So people are probably sitting there making their hats right now. You're going to you're gonna see hats with birds in them. You're going to see all kinds of, yeah. Oh, don't it, it, it'll, it'll be a lot of fun. Send your hat bribes to Zena, That's care right. of this station. That's oh right. my goodness. Oh man. <laughs> How does it feel, you know, to see the community coming together to put this together? I mean, 80 years, that's a long time. And, Going and strong. You know, that's what it's all about. It's about coming together. Mm -hmm. It's about families coming together and having fun. People get get their tents out and they and, and they show up at railside with grills and tents and truck beds and and I saw a band in a truck bed, you know, picking yeah. guitars <laughs> and singing one year. And the, and people are cooking ribs all day. It's just a bunch of fun a lot of people coming together it's it's great a lot of people coming together a lot of tickets have been sold already but there are still some oh, remaining yeah. so Most definitely give us the details on who where when and how yeah go to akintrials.com that's the best way to do it just go there it's got all your information you can even click to buy tickets it'll show you the local places you can go get them all right, there you go. Check yeah. out all the sponsors and check out all the fun that's going to be happening this That's Saturday. right. That's right. St. Patrick's Day, going to see a lot yep. of grain too. So. All right.